I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. And I remember this high school teacher, Mr. Leroy Washington, at the end of school, one June, it was just a few days before we were supposed to leave. And I just got my report card. And it indicated that I'd fail history. And I'd fail English. And I would have to go to summer school. And I was feeling within myself that I was a failure, that I, I'm slower than most people and, and getting paperwork. And, and I was feeling down on myself and, and, and very negative. And Mr. Washington was giving a speech to the graduating seniors, and I was in 11th grade. And even though I wasn't supposed to be in there, I went in there because the speech he was giving, that speech was for me. And as he talked, my heart began to beat fast. Tears began to run by my eyes, and, and I was in the back just listening to him because he said, and he was a very dramatic man, I still talk to him to this day. He said, as graduating seniors of Booker T. Washington High School, I want you to know that you are blessed and highly favored, and that as you go toward the future, begin to know that you have greatness within you. And if just one of you here begin to envision yourselves as being blessed and highly favored to reach your goals, if just one of you capture the essence of what that means that you have greatness within you and a responsibility to manifest that greatness that you can make your parents proud you can make your school proud you can touch millions of people's lives and the world will never be the same again because you came this way and the students gave him a rousing standing ovation and as he left the auditorium I ran down the steps and I caught him in the parking lot I said Mr. Washington he said, yes. I said, do you remember me, sir? He said, no. I said, uh, my name is Leslie Brown. My mother, she works in the cafeteria here. I'm one of the twins, Leslie and Wesley. I said, Mr. Washington, but you know, you know, I got these big dreams. You know, I like talking to people. I love people. I said, I, I want to work with people, and I got this dream of buying my mama a home. Could, could I do that, Mr. Washington? He said, it's possible, Mr. Brown. And as he walked away, I called him again. I said, Mr. Washington? He said, what do you want now? I said, um, I'm the one, sir. I said, I'm the one. You, you remember me, sir. I'm Miss Mamie Brown's boy. I'm the one. I'm the one. 